In today's video, I'm going to explain why you have low or no compression in one or more cylinders. Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repairs. In today's topic, I'm going to discuss all the possibilities why you have low or no compression. When you have low or no compression, you're going to notice engine misfire, rough idle, hard start, the engine's going to run extremely rough, hesitation while acceleration, and very poor gas mileage. Let's just say your engine been running rough for a pretty long time. Let's just say you change the spark plug, the ignition coil, you check the injectors, you check for a blown head gasket, and you're still getting that engine misfire and you're getting low power. Maybe it is time to conduct a compression test. To conduct a compression test is really simple. All you need is a compression test kit that comes with various adapters. The next thing you want to do is disable the ignition system and fuel system. To disable the fuel system is really simple. All you need to do is remove the fuel pump fuse and relays and that's actually good enough to uh, conduct a compression test. The next thing you want to do is remove the spark plug and use the proper adapter, connect it with the compression tester and you're ready to go. Once you have your compression gauge set up, you want to crank the engine for about 4 seconds. This will ensure that you have good compression reading since it is going through a fuel stroke. Keep in mind that if you're doing a compression test when the engine is hot already or warmed up, your compression reading will be slightly higher compared to an engine that was cold. As you can see in this video, the cylinder has good compression. It is important to conduct a fuel compression test for each cylinder to make sure you're going to have a good and accurate reading. If you have low or no compression reading, I'll tell you why. Let's just say you already checked for a blown head gasket and if your compression is still low or you have zero reading, then I'll tell you why. The first common problem is going to be some sort of valve issue. You might have burnt valves, you might have broken valves, you might have bent valves, or you can have valves that are not closing all the way. The next common problem is going to be worn piston ring and worn cylinder in the wall. So if you don't think you have bad valves and let's just say you suspect worn piston ring and, and worn cylinder in the wall, you may notice blue smoke coming out of the exhaust. At this point, if you suspect that you have bad piston rings and cylinder wall, it is time to conduct a wet compression test. Basically, to conduct a wet compression test, all you need to do is use 10W30 uh, engine oil and put about a teaspoon inside the uh, cylinder. Next thing you want to do is just conduct a regular uh, compression test. If you notice that compression increased about 10% or more, that you know the piston ring and cylinder walls are worn. The next common problem is maybe the piston head, maybe there's a hole in it. For example, let's just say you had some sort of timing issue and timing jumped and let's just say one of the valves hit the piston head and caused a hole in it. That can also cause low compression as well. In addition to that, you may also notice some sort of noise inside the uh, engine because if the valve hit the piston head, it's possible that valve can actually break off and kind of just like move around in the cylinder and cause all sorts of noise in there. In worst case scenario, and you can't figure out why you have low compression, maybe it is time to remove that cylinder head and conduct a visual inspection. I hope you found this video useful. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.